tougher pitch. The pitch was outside. He had to bring it back and then make a good throw, and Reggie slides in safely. And they're gonna, that's what we're talking about. They're going to have to make up for the lack of power by stealing a few bases and using their speed this year. Joe Nota Gwynn is awfully tough with a man in scoring position. And Kyle misses low with 3-0. Uh, you know, when you, when you lose Greg Vaughn and his 50 home runs from a year ago, and you've also lost Caminetti, right? Tony Gwynn is the, the most prolific home run hitter from last year's ball club still in the club with 16. The, the cleanup hitter on deck, Wally Joyner, hit only 12 home runs. So they may not hit too many this year. Three and one. No. Fastball. And Tony Gwynn. He's 71 hits away. Sanders easily scores. It's tied up. Some things just never change. You're right, and that's why he doesn't need to hit triple because he knows he can hit three and one, three and oh, he can hit at any time. And but your point is brought up again is why he wouldn't maybe throw a curveball or something to Tony Gwynn, but I know that he doesn't have the same confidence in his breaking ball as he had before. And I mean that's just the Tony Gwynn swing, beautiful level swing right back through the middle for a base hit. Never tries to do too much with the ball. I think that's the key to his success. Join at 80 runs batted in last year with 12 home runs. Still one of the slickest fielding first basemen around. It's 71 away from 3,000. Wade Boggs, now of the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, is 78 hits away from 3,000. And Cal Ripken is 122 away from 3,000. We may have three guys for the first time reach 3,000 in the same year. Now there's the curveball. What? Resume during his 17 seasons as a San Diego Padre is remarkable. He's won eight batting titles, five gold gloves, been selected to 14 All-Star games, and played in two World Series. And now he's on the brink of yet another career milestone, his 3,000th hit. All of a sudden you start thinking about 3,000, you just get emotional. Tony Gwynn is three for three as he rips one down the right field line. Into the bullpen it goes. Gwynn is into second base with a double. Oh my, is he something? Gwynn began the 1999 season just 72 hits away from 3,000, a feat only 21 other players in the history of baseball have accomplished, and something no Padre has ever done. I do want to be home, and so I've really been grinding, trying to get off to a good start so that I can put myself in a position where I could do it at home. Uh, and if I don't do it at home and then I have to do it on the road, at least I had an opportunity to do it at home. There's a lot of guessing and projecting about where and when Gwynn will get number 3,000. 2,500 came September 14, 1996 in Cincinnati, and Tony got a standing ovation even there. One of the greatest hitters of our generation gets a standing ovation at Riverfront Stadium. Career hit number 2,500. Next on the stock list, 3,000. And after that, the Hall of Fame. Tipping his hat to the fans. And while his hits are his professional calling card, this business of 3,000 is intensely personal and evokes memories of his late father. I, I wish my dad could be here to see it. My mom would be there to see it. And... She's all psyched, she's making plans, you know, like where I have to go and all that. And you know, you, you, for me, it's always been just going out there and doing what I do. During the last five seasons, Gwynn has led the major leagues in nearly every hitting category. A career 339 hitter, he currently leads all active players in batting average and base hits. Even though he is soon to become the 22nd member of the elite 3,000 hit club, Gwynn has his concerns as the landmark day approaches. I'm concerned about, you know, how you feel. Are you going to be relaxed? Are you going to be able to relax? Are you going to be able to do your normal daily routine? Or is it going to, you know, turn into a circus? I don't know. Padres fans know Gwynn is a hitting machine. He's batted 300 or better 16 straight seasons. Pretty phenomenal, but when it comes down to hit number 3,000... What kind of hit, I don't care, just as long as it's clean. I just hope I can keep my composure and not just fall down on the ground. Of the 21 players who have accumulated 3,000 hits, no player has homered for the big one. 
First base coach Davey Lopes is just looking forward to congratulating him. When he does it, it's going to be very exciting. I hope it's a single so I can be the first one to shake his hand. Fastball is ripped down the right field line. Well, Tony Glenn takes one more step towards 3,000 hits. Another day, another game, the hits roll on for Mr. Padre, who, more than anything, wants to share the moment with his hometown crowd. I know I get close, really close. It's, you know, it, it's going to be a lot tougher, and I want to see how I handle dealing with all the stuff you have to deal with and then going out on the field and playing. And to be honest with you, the quicker I could get there, the better off I'm going to be. Because when I get there, then I can relax and know that there's nothing coming on. There's nothing else coming up for a while. He gets a hold of one, hits it deep to right center field. Brumfield is back to the warning track. It's off his goal. I know we're supposed to think of words to describe Tony Gwynn, but it's, it's sometimes hard to think of something that hadn't already been said. He's just that good.